Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter, the 13th verse, and the Word of God reads this way. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. This verse is very familiar, and if you check chapter 3 of 2 Thessalonians, going from about verse 6 all the way to about verse 15, you will see that the Apostle Paul is talking about everybody working as hard as they can. And he was warning against people that were like busybodies. They were being idle. They weren't working. And that's where you get the verses about if uh, he commanded them, if you don't work, neither should you eat. And then in verse 11, he says, there's some that walk among you this disorderly, um, but they're, um, they're working not at all. They're busybodies. And he's warning against that. But in this particular verse, you have the contrast. That's why you have the conjunction, but. It says, but ye, he's talking to brethren here, but ye brethren, you believers, be not weary. He's like, be not tired. Be not weary in well-doing. In other words, don't be run down. Don't be tired. Don't think that your labor for the Lord is in vain. Unlike the people that were idlers, that weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing, as a Christian, you should be working hard. And you should be doing it to the best of your ability and doing it unto, unto the Lord. But sometimes you can do that, and sometimes you can get depressed. You can get physically tired. You can get run down. You can even think that the things that you're doing isn't amounting to anything. And you can be weary and well-doing. But Paul is telling this church and telling us as believers today that we don't need to be weary in the things that we do. Our work unto the Lord has a purpose and a plan. And even though you may not see it immediately, and sometimes you may not even see it a month or two from now, it is going to bear fruit. Everything that we do unto the Lord bears fruit. And it's all in God's timing and it's all in God's purposes. Dear Christian, remember Ephesians 2.10. We are God's workmanship, and we're to do good works because we have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because of that, there's going to be times we're doing work that may seem like it doesn't amount to anything. In fact, it may just physically run us down, or it could mentally run us down. But Paul is telling us in this verse, don't be weary in well-doing. And notice that the work is well doing that's something that we need to remember all the work we're doing is doing something well we may not think so and we may think it's just like grunt work or something inconsequential but it's not in the lord's eyes it's well doing so keep doing the work for the lord and keep doing it to the best of your ability do it with joy and be prayerful about everything that you do and understand something Sometimes the work you do, you may not even get accolades for it. You may not get any thanks. You may not even get any recognition. But the Lord sees everything that you do. So don't be weary in well-doing. Dear Christian, this was 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 13. I just wanted to do a quick look to truly, truly encourage you as a believer that the work you do unto the Lord is important. And though you may be tired sometimes, Please, catch your breath, pray unto the Lord, ask Him for strength, and remember that it's not for nothing, that it's all for a purpose. And you'll see that purpose eventually. In fact, you may not even see the purpose sometimes until the other side of glory, but know that God is working in you and through you for His purposes, and that work is well-doing. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk, and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, go out there and work unto the Lord. You don't have to have a prestige position in ministry to work hard. Sometimes just cleaning up the church or watching the toddlers or picking up an elderly person to go to church or helping your neighbor or, you know, mowing your neighbor's lawn or picking up their garbage or 
just doing this quote unquote grunt work, if you're doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and sharing the gospel at the same time, you're doing good work. It is well doing. Don't be weary in it. Always remember that it's a good thing to work under the Lord. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and God bless.